Hey everybody, this is Dave Nasty over here at nextlevelguitar.com and we're going to do another cool in the style of lesson today. One of my favorite guitar players, we're going to do a bunch of cool licks and uh, by the end of this we're going to have something that you could draw from, something that you've heard all the time on a lot of these popular records and put it in your everyday. That's our whole goal. So we're going to talk now in diatonic to the key of G. I'm going to stick to one string when I do this technique. It's going to be really fun. Hey everybody. You know what time it is. It's that time where you click on the link that you see below in the YouTube text box. If you click on that link, it's going to direct you to our site where you can get a free lesson that is not available on YouTube, a free coinciding ebook as well that's got all kinds of great scales and chord diagrams in it. Again, both of those items are free and all you got to do is just click on that link that you see below in the YouTube text box. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is how to approach it. I'm going to be talking about the key of G, right? So, of course, we know our G major scale. It looks like this. But we're just going to focus on the third string. And we're going to work our way up with this really fun technique. And the technique itself sounds just like this. It's got this really cool rhythmical feel. We have one, two, three, four, five, six notes that we're going to play. And what's kind of cool about it is we're going to accent the four pick notes in it and we're going to really get this nice accelerated pace that happens. It's a really cool, comfortable mixture of picking and hammer on some pull offs. And it's really common to the style of this guitar player. So let's just try it really slow here. I'm going to start with a downstroke on my D note. I'm going to hit an upstroke on my B note. Downstroke on my C. Returning back up to D with an upstroke and pull off. fun lick and it's just a nice way to get comfortable with some of this more accelerated style of playing and or really conducive to a lot of this heavier type music that you're hearing a lot. So we can take that and we could very simply move it up the guitar throughout all our different scale shapes. On one string. I don't know how much cooler it gets than that. A great lick that's only on one string. You don't got to worry about planing across the guitar. We get a ton accomplished and we're just moving up the neck. Staying into the key of G, right? All I got to do is make sure I hit an F sharp as I go up the guitar. And so I've got that F sharp come up on me now and I'm going to use my pinky. We're moving up the guitar. So we have position number one. Position number two. Position number three. Position number four. Really tricky getting the separation between your third finger and your pinky. So let's do that one nice and slow. Da, 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 da. Really accenting that four. If you think of those pick notes, you know, you're hearing. And with that, you're going to go right into that pull off. And it almost makes it so you get an extra bit of whip within the lick. And it's not just really, really structured. Look at that. Really cool effect. Moving up. So. Moving up one string, we've got some nice ideas. Really, it's the technique that we're thinking about here. This is a nice technique that's used in the style. And in each position, we've got some cool sounds that happen with it, and we can move it around the guitar. Change strings. Really nice, whippy kind of effect to it, right? It's kind of derived from this pattern. it all on one string. And that pattern that I just played again slow would be this. But we're putting it all now on one string. Great 
great, great lick. Let's go up to some high strings and see what it sounds like with some stretches and maybe see what we could do with some stretches or wide diminished type intervals. If we did that same thing and we put some minor thirds between our fingers now, I'm gonna be going E, G, and I've got my B flat. That's kind of a lick, all hammered. Look at all the muting I'm doing with my right hand. Really making sure that that lick does not get away from me because I'm putting so much pressure on the fretboard with my left hand. So let me turn my body this way and I'll show you just so you can see how I'm muting these lower ones. So that's just with the left hand, I bet you. We're gonna get into some cool things that we can do with it. With my picking attack on this now, I can go even faster than just what my left hand was doing all by itself with hammer on the pull-offs. Let's implement this technique. Really cool up there, right? Just getting into some different positions. We can do this. Get that pinky out there. All diatonic to E minor or G major, right? So if you want to play some rhythms, you can apply this kind of concept within that as well. And we can maybe even do a number group within this kind of concept. Let's try fours in a diminished pattern. That's something else that's really popular to this style. And it sounds really cool. Check it out. I'm going to take these groups of strings. And I'm going to apply a pattern of four. Really cool sequence. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And all of these things that are achieved here are fun things that are pretty unique to this style of guitar player. We hear them all the time in popular music, but I think the greatest thing about these in the style of lessons is, is you get a little bit of light on somebody's style and you just take it and you make it your own. That's the biggest thing, you know. So let's recap what we have covered today. And we've covered some cool licks within this style. Uh, we're gonna start off with our third string or our G string. We're ascending diatonic to the key of G with this technique. move it up the fretboard. Kind of a cool way to go about it. I think that uh, done on any string would sound pretty awesome. We can do that on the high string and we can do it in a diminished fashion. Get a bend out of it. Any kind of thing you would want to do there would work. And then of course maybe we could work for as diminished. Symmetrically that's pretty cool too. All right, everybody, we have achieved bliss. We have reached it. We got there on the spot, trying new things today. So you know what? I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Really dug giving it to you. And uh, go to the website, everybody. Tons of great videos on there, nextlevelguitar.com. Thank you so much.